first, we would like to know the minimum insulation standards for walls and ceilings with electric heat. Well, I believe for new homes, it's an R49 in the ceilings and an R, I believe it's an R21 in the walls now. I don't know that. And I think it's an R30 in the floor, so maybe Mark can help me. And if you can get this in existing homes, that's great, but you can't always do that given the, the you know, the size of the cavities are already fixed and access to the cavities sometimes are difficult. But uh, with an existing home, the, probably the best thing to do to insulate the walls, again, is the dense packed cellulose. Attics, you usually can gain access to attics, so uh, you can usually get an R49 in attics fairly easily. But again, air sealing is a separate step from insulation. Air sealing is where you're losing your most amount of heat. So before you do any insulation additions, uh, the building should be looked at for air sealing first. And once you pour more insulation into that attic, it makes it that much more difficult in the future to find the air leaks. Really, the best way to, to find air leaks is to, to hire a building performance certified contractor, someone who has access, knows how to use a blower bill. Thank you. Right. Okay. Uh, Mark, do you have anything to add to that? No, I, I think it nail on the head. I just have one question. Um, is the house new? When, when you say what, no, what it's an cancel? existing house. Existing, and you have electric base for it? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. It it it's going to be very difficult to increase the insulation in a wall section if it's already insulated. Is it is it a newer home? Thirty years old. Okay. I, it's it's hard to say what it should be, but you certainly can add more attic insulation. Uh, you may also want to check into a fuel switch uh, going from electric to maybe a gas-fired boiler with with, with uh, base port. Um, but you, you definitely need to talk to a contractor. It's kind of hard to do this uh, without seeing the building. 